Hi, hi, I'm Ivan, and uh, Ivan. today I'm going to be uh, refuting the claim of how the United States of America continues to fail to create policies revolve, revolving around electric cars, and it would potentially set America back. So my opponent had three claims in his uh, speech to justify the benefits of implementing these laws. <clears throat> the first claim was that electric cars are better for the environment. The second claim was that electric cars reduce noise pollution. And finally, my opponent made the claim that electric cars are safer and reduce the amount of car accidents or fatalities. So let's take a look at the first claim of how electric cars are better for the environment. Obviously, I agree with the claim. There's really no argument to this. <clears throat> it's widely known that electric cars are, or they release no air uh, pollutants compared to gasoline and diesel. My opponent also mentions the benefits of lithium ion batteries. However, in a recent article from the City Lab, Eric Jaffe claims that the electric vehicles that cause no environmental damage on the road during the day still need to be charged at night. So this requires a great deal of electricity generated by power plants somewhere. And if that power plant runs on coal, it's not hard to imagine it's skewing more emissions than these cars. The second claim talks about how electric cars reduce noise pollution. For many that don't know what noise pollution, pollution is, it's uh, like roadways and like the airports and all this stuff that's making a lot of noise that affects people and wildlife as well. So the evidence provided by the opponent posed some problems for the claim. Nothing in the evidence really explained how electric cars would reduce noise pollution, just kind of explained what it was. Many inferences were made claiming how quiet electric cars were from gas. So in another article from Earth.com, Rory, Rory Arnold stated that electric vehicles are mm, considered to be too quiet for hearing impaired pedestrians. So basic traffic noise is a combination of engine noise and tire noise as well as the road noise. So with these vehicles, like just being electric doesn't really make a difference. And faster vehicles are traveling, the more the road and tire noise will dominate and the more the wind passage will affect the noise contribution. So, <clears throat> the third claim explains how cars are safer and reduce the amount of car accidents slash fatalities. Uh, through the evidence provided by my opponent, he su for the support of the secondary claim has no relevance to the main claim of the argument. He just basically provided stats on texting and driving, which could happen in both electric and regular vehicles. The second point made utilize drunk driving with self-driving cars. The evidence used claim that a drunk person in a driverless car is similar to them being in a taxi, which is great and all, but it still doesn't have to do with the electric cars being better than gas engine driverless cars too. So to conclude, the continuous neglect of creating laws and policies revolving electric cars in America could possibly set us back. While electric cars are better for the environment, it's not certain that there will be a case in the future. The electric cars also provide no drastic change to noise pollution and provide no safer aspect to driving and the amounts of accidents and fatalities to occur. Thank you. Thank you, Yvonne. All right. Right, the structural things are pretty good. Uh, you label what the advocate's claims are and then you follow that structure uh, uh, pretty directly. The first point you seem to be conceding and then you turn right around and suggest that it's not true. Uh, the argument that uh, power plants have to provide the energy that the cars run on and that the power plants generate a large amount of uh, pollution and in essence the pollution that is, it's, it's just a transfer of where the source of the pollution is that's a perfectly legitimate criticism on that first point. I don't think you have to concede the notion that electric cars are uh, pollution free. What you're suggesting is that the point of the pollution is shifted from the vehicle to the generating plant and that that, that continues to be a, pr a problem. 
Um, just as an aside, there are manufacturing issues that are different with electric vehicles that uh, also pre present environmental threats. They're not the same kinds of environmental threats as air pollution. Uh, they have to do mostly with uh, soil contamination and chemicals in the environment because of the manufacturing processes. So I think that that's a, a counterclaim that maybe you miss uh, an opportunity to develop there. On the noise pollution argument, I didn't quite understand at first what it was you were saying, but then as you uh, developed it a little bit more and once you provided a piece of information, it was a lot clearer. In essence, uh, it sounds like what happens is that the noise from uh, internal combustion engines right now is basically masked or is masking the noise that comes from uh, the natural environment. And that if you remove that, the noise from the natural environment is going to be just as loud and obnoxious as the, uh, the uh, combustion engines are. And the two things that you point to who are the wind and the tires uh, as a source of that kind of noise. And I can see uh, how that might be the case. I, the notion that they're equivalent, that might be a little bit harder to prove. It would be great if you had a piece of evidence that suggested that they were equivalent or potentially even greater. Um, on the fatalities issue, uh, basically it sounds like you're suggesting that they've created an equivocation treating uh, aut autonomous cars as the same as being electric vehicles, and autonomous cars are something different. Autonomous cars may have some advantages when it comes to uh, distracted driving or people who are intoxicated. Uh, I understand that, but that's not the same thing as electric vehicle. Uh, autonomous cars could be uh, gas powered also. It's simply a matter of uh, how the car is being operated that makes them different. Um, the notion that this is a unique advantage to electric vehicles, I think uh, you did a pretty good job explaining that concept. All right, thank you.